What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. I hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Now over the past week, I've had to change uh, the way I approach growing my Nepenthes based on a pretty big change in my life. And so what I did was I scoured the internet looking for information on how to best approach this train, uh, change and I could not find anything uh, on how to do so with Nepenthes. So I, would, I was able to find a little bit uh, here and there on other plants, but I wanted to make a video maybe the first of this kind of video to share with you my experience, what I'm kind of working with, what I'm going through and uh, how it's impacting my plants. Uh, so a lot to cover. Uh, this is a very interesting video and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So what I was talking about in the introduction is I had to change a pretty big, uh, do a pretty big shift change rather at work. I have worked a uh, day shift for the past, I don't even know how many years, but uh, as of last week, they gave me the awesome news that I would be working night shift. Now, so what does that mean for my plants? Now, if some people have timers for their uh, Nepenthes or their timers on grow lights. That is a way to go. I just happen to be distrustful of timers of any kind when it comes to uh, growing Nepenthes for a couple reasons. One is um, not being able to watch the plants over, making sure the lights turn on and off when they're supposed to. Uh, and then two is I don't get to interact with my plants as much. And um, if you're a grower like me, I like to be able to be with my plants every single day. Not only does it bring me emotional peace, uh, but also uh, brings me peace of mind because I can view them and see how they're doing. And they, they become almost like family members uh, at that point. Uh, so I've had this huge change, right? And I end up, I'm working probably 13, 14, 15 hours a day. And so uh, I have to really figure out how I want my photo period to be. And so I have no, traditionally started my photo period about six in the morning and then I turn them off about 10 at night. Uh, and so the plants have had that, that sort of photo period for the better part of, oh gosh, I don't know, two, two and a half years. And so that's what they're accustomed to. That is what it is in nature, obviously daytime, but it runs a little bit longer. Nepenthes in general, like anywhere between 12 and 16 hours of light. Uh, there's a lot of variability in there. They can go as low as eight. However, I don't recommend that, but uh, normally about 12 to 16 is the range they like. They grow up very high up in ultramafic con uh, conditions for most of them. And they like a lot of light as long as it's uh, deferred light about 60%, but I digress. So. I'm faced with this. So I had to figure out a new photo period. My biggest concern right out the gate was, are my plants just like people and are they gonna react differently if I change the photo period from a, a all light during the day to an all light during the night? And so I scoured the internet, I scoured the internet, I could not find a whole lot of data on that. Uh, and so it was one of those things where I had to just sort of take a step out into the abyss and sort of see what would happen. And now it's been about a week and I wanna share those results with you. So what I ended up doing for my photo period is a time frame between about 6 p.m. and about 8 a.m. Uh, that's the time that best works for me. Uh, I know that I personally am exhausted and very, very tired from this switch, but I wanna share with you, are my plants exhausted? Do they look like they've been impacted in any way by this? Now I have seen a couple different arguments. The first argument is you want to keep your plants at no normal cycle because that is what evolution has brought them up to be. And that's sort of the way that they like things. I've also seen people say it does not matter. Uh, you can leave, you can change the photo period up, up as much as you want, as long as you keep the photo period within that 12 to 16 range. And I've even seen people who said, just go ahead and leave your lights on all the time. That third one I would highly recommend against. Plants need a, a downtime, they need the lights to be off, so they have a rest period so that they can, uh, instead of collecting all that chlorophyll, they have a time to sort of rest and recharge. Now, I have different plants at different sizes, and I'm gonna talk about each of those and how each looks like they've been impacted, all the way from seedlings, all the way to very large XXL plants. Uh, so I changed my photo period from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. And so far, after a week, I don't notice any uh, significant change to the plants. Um, I was the first day I let it run a little bit longer, a photo period, so that I could get it clocked just right. And then I have, uh, sub in the subsequent days following, I have kept it at that same photo period. Uh, the plants don't seem like they have missed a single beat. The only one that has given me a little bit of worry, and that's why I keep looking down, is my Nepenthes, um, Nepen uh, Nepenthes truncata by Merliana. Um, it has its newest leaf. These leaves are normally like they stand straight out. This newest leaf has 
uh, fallen. It's gone limp. Now there's no, the leaf looks completely normal, completely healthy. There's nothing, uh, no damage to the leaf at all. Uh, but it just, it could be that it's top heavy, but it also can be a sign of stress on the plant. And that is why it's got me a little concerned. This is my Nepenthes brutus. It's one of my favorite plants and I'm going to watch it. Other than that, the XXL plants have not missed a beat. Uh, nothing has uh, re reacted in any bad way whatsoever. And so um, I'm pleased to see that if any of them were going to react negatively, it would be the very larger plants because they have had, had a longer time here on this earth at a different, uh, at a, the same photo period. Now the mid-sized plants have done exactly the way the larger plants have done very, very well. And the seedlings, even the seedlings have not shown any sort of negative impact to that photo period. Now there is a caveat to all of this. Um, this will only work if you have an area or the ability to keep your plants in complete darkness when it is not the photo period. So this would not work if I had a greenhouse uh, per se, or if I was growing these in my window, because they would be receiving sunlight all during the day. And that would stress the plants out tremendously, causing stunted growth, stunted leaf growth, and stunted pitcher growth. Eventually they would become so stressed that they would start to perish. But because I grow them in a grow tent where it's completely pitch black in here, when the lights are not on, the plants have acclimated just fine. I'm actually quite surprised. I expected there to be more of a pushback on the plants and more of a reaction to them, but it seems like they don't have the internal clock uh, that I, I would have, you would have, or any other uh, you know, non-plant species would have. They seem to just need that amount of light and that is all. So hopefully this dispelled some of those uh, fears or rumors. I don't know, there may, be no, there may not be anybody out there that is experiencing the same thing I am, but it was a big concern of mine and I couldn't find it. So I noticed a gap in the material out there for Nepenthes growers and I thought I would try to fill that gap. I will make subsequent videos following up just to see uh, and to show you how they react. Um, before this video ends, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, turn it around and show you all the plants and show you that one uh, Nepenthes brutus a leaf issue that I'm talking about and just sort of wrap this whole thing all together by showing you what I'm looking at. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned when I flip it around to show all the plants. See you in a minute. All right, everybody. So here are the plants. And as you can see, uh, it's been a week. They have not missed a beat. Um, normally by now you would start to see some sort of reaction by them uh, if they were not getting enough light, too much light, or if they were stressed. Um, I did tell you about that one Nepenthes Brutus. I wanted to show that, as you can see here, um, this leaf. Uh, now, they normally, see, they normally have a very strong midrib, and they stick straight out like this. Um, this one was there for a little bit, but has su since fallen, and the midrib is very floppy. Now, the only reason I'm not concerned about this is, A, this is a new leaf, and when they're new, they're very, very malleable. Um, and B, the leaf itself looks completely normal. The growth point looks completely normal. The soil is all good. I've checked all that. And so it doesn't appear to be stressed other than that. I will keep an eye on this. I think my hunches and some of my, uh, my buddies that I've talked to think that it was just this leaf was just top heavy with it being so new and had us fallen over. I am gonna to continue to watch that just to make sure that there isn't any stress factors occurring. But of all the plants in here, including all the seedlings, sorry, I don't wanna make everybody sick by going so fast. Um, the only one that has shown any sign of potential stress has been Brutus. Now it is the largest plant that I have in the collection. I bought it the largest, so it might be that it is just grown and has that much, um, it's just had so long to be in the same photo period. And so it is not uh, reacting so well. But we'll continue to watch it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I have confidence that it's going to recover if it even needs to recover and that we will be good. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is sort of a more unique one, something that you don't really see uh, or I've never seen anything talked about. It may apply to other people. If anything, I hope you get something out of the photo period. Um, it is a very specific video, but I hope that it brings some sort of clarity for any of those who needs it. So. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.